Having NAD, it was a struggle through my whole life. Paying attention and learning, it didn't matter to me really, because a lot of kids here, including myself, didn't use any tools to know what we had to do. I used to wake up in the morning, be like, I don't want to go to school today. I don't want to be bullied every day because I don't know what the answer is when the teacher asks you. My previous school, they didn't have the resources to help me with my needs, so they basically just labeled me as special ed instead of a dyslexic. They kind of just treated me and like pushed me off into a corner and really ignored me a lot. So I was failing all my classes. I knew I wasn't stupid, but they treated me like I was. So when I came here, it was a lot different when they're like, hey, talk to me about this, and like they really knew me. Like I felt like they could, they taught me more than I had ever learned before. I couldn't do math at all, basically. And now I'm doing algebra. And from where I was, that's, you know, that's a huge, huge jump. I felt really, really good about myself being able to accomplish worksheets and tests and things like that. Coming in and sort of trying to gauge where they are and then at the same time try to figure out how do I differentiate my teaching that day to meet the needs of my class, and that provides a huge challenge. It forces you to be really focused on multi-sensory teaching because these guys who are so smart learn in so many different ways and we can meet them where they are and give them the tools and the resources to ask questions and to be hopefully lifelong learners. People out there just really push kids with any type of learning disability as if they were disabled and it's like we're not we just learn differently but it's just like people's mentality of it has just they're stuck. Groves looks at things in a totally different perspective than any other school that I've ever been to. This is a place that's exciting to be a part of because it's led by a visionary who wants to make a difference in the lives of teachers, students, parents, and community members and wants to take what goes well here. He wants it out in this country and I want to be right there along the way supporting that mission. We have found the holy grail of reading instruction. We're close to finding the holy grail of math instruction. Then we believe as, as a learning community, we feel we have an inherent obligation to take that knowledge and bring it out into the world. And we feel that we can be a catalyst to affect real literacy change in both in our community and in the nation at large. And, and we're driven by that. They've been able to just teach me again. And I'm able to learn. Learn down in here and up here. And now I can read, write, do arithmetic, do math. I can do that. And it, it means a lot to me. With research-based programs, such as Wilson Reading, the Keys to Literacy Comprehension Routine, the close reading work that we do in the Keys to Literacy curriculum, it would benefit any student, all students. My parents are ecstatic that they took the money and time to move us up here for this school. Just giving kids an opportunity to thrive and just be who they are. Our program's been tested, replicated all over the country, and it requires committed and knowledgeable teachers. But if you have that and a committed building leader, then magic can happen.